if you get three copyright strikes on YouTube, then you're out. You may be forced to close your account, your content will be removed, and you may even be barred from setting up further YouTube channels. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly use all the fabulous music in the YouTube audio library. I'll explain the music licenses to you and what you need to know to stay on the right side of copyright. You also need to know one small piece of information, which I had a chat with the YouTube help team over the weekend to confirm my suspicions. So please do watch until the end. If by the end of this video that all sounds like a bit of a faff and you'd rather have absolute peace of mind, then I suggest that you do exactly what I do. And it's very simple. So let's make a start. Okay, so you want to start off in your YouTube studio. Go to the left hand side column and then go down and find content and click on that. Now select the video that you want to add music to. So I'm going to choose one of my old videos. Click on the video to open it up in the video editor. Go to the left hand side again and now select editor. And here you are in the YouTube video editor. So if you're not familiar with the layout, your screen's now been divided into three portions. Underneath video editor, you'll find all the editing tools like trim and cut, blur, audio, end screen, info cards. On the right is your video and underneath is your video timeline. This is the video playhead and you can move this along the video timeline by just grabbing a hold of this little button on the top, hold it down with your cursor and then moving it along the timeline. And this is actually very handy and I'll be running through how handy this is in just a few minutes. Over on the right hand side, you've got a handy zoom tool. OK, so let's find the YouTube audio library and you've probably guessed it, you need to click on the audio link. At the top you have three clickable tabs. You have music, starred and audio library. And as you can probably see, I've already selected music and underneath is the entire selection of music in the YouTube audio library. It's not very easy finding music tracks in this view here. So my tip to you would be to click on audio library so that it opens up into a fresh new window and you can view it in full screen. So the audio library also has three clickable tabs at the top. There's music, there's sound effects and there's starred. If we go back to music, all the music tracks are organized into various columns. To help you find a music track for a project, you can use the very handy filter tool, which is right here. So click your cursor in the search bar. And now you can use these different categories to find what you're looking for. So I'm just going to click the mood category. And I want to find a track which is bright and inspirational. Click apply. And that brings up all the bright and inspirational music tracks. You can have a little listen to each music track by clicking on the little play button in the left hand side column. If there's a particular music track that you like and you want to find music tracks by the same artist, just go over to the artist column and click on the filter tool. And here's a top tip for you. And it's pretty handy. So if you do like a music track and you think you might put it into a video, do place a star next to it. And this will become very clear in just a few minutes. Now let's talk about the all important license agreements. There are only two that you need to worry about. There's attribution and there's non-attribution. Now, if I look in the license column here, all of these music tracks 
have a non-attribution license type. So if I hover my mouse over this little logo here, I'll see that I can use this audio track in any of my videos, including videos that I want to monetize. And that's great news. And no attribution is required. So I can use this track for free without having to worry about copyright issues. Now let's have a look at the other license type. So I'm just going to find those by using the search tool. Attribution required. Just going to get rid of that filter. Here we go. OK, so if you see under the license column, this logo here, and this is a Creative Commons attribution, that means that I can still use this in any of my videos, including videos that I monetize. But I must include attribution information in my video description. And you will find that information by clicking on the View Details tab. So all this information here that you see in this greyed out box, you will need to copy and paste into the description section underneath your video. It's very easy to copy. Just click on the copy icon and you can see at the bottom of my screen here that's been copied to my clipboard. So I'm just going to close that now. Underneath the star tab, you will see that I've already added stars next to some of my favorite tracks that I think I'm going to use in a video. So I'm going to go back into my YouTube audio studio now and find at the top the starred tab. And here are those tracks that I added stars next to. OK, so to add a music track to the video timeline, all you need to do, it's very easy, is click on Add. And underneath you'll see the audio track here in blue, and it's been added to the video timeline right at the start here. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. OK. If you want your music track to play at a particular place in your video, there are two ways you can do that. You can either hover your mouse over the music track in the video timeline, and you'll see that my cursor has turned into a kind of a four arrowed cursor. Hold your cursor over the music track and drag it along the timeline. But that's not always particularly accurate. It's a bit hit and miss. So if you want to be very accurate about where the music track starts, I would suggest you use this method. Use the video playhead to mark where you want the audio to start. So I'm going to drag it along the timeline to the two minute mark. OK, and that might not be entirely accurate either. So I'm going to use this little box here which is telling me that my video playhead currently is at two minutes, one second and 20 frames in to my video. So I want it to start at two minutes exactly. So I'm just going to delete this and type zero colon zero and hit enter. And my playhead's been moved to the two minute mark. And now I can drag that audio along the timeline using the video playhead as a guide. So it's now going to start exactly at the two minute mark. You can edit the music track on the video timeline in a couple of ways. So you can probably see that there are three little dots right at the end of a music track. So if, you, if I click on those, I can just quickly check the license information and I can also click the trash icon to remove it. I can adjust the volume by clicking on adjust mix level and then dragging the button along the slider bar. And I have to say the volume is usually quite loud. So if you want the music to play in the background, you'll probably need to slide it right along the length of the slider bar. You can listen to the audio by clicking on the play icon in your video. And finally, you can crop an audio track. So if you don't want the entire track playing, go to the end, hover your mouse over the end bar. And you'll see that my cursor has turned into a, a double ended arrow. Hold your cursor down over the end bar and drag it along the timeline. 
and you can do exactly the same with the other end. Okay, so I've got one last but very important thing to do, and that is to paste the Creative Commons attribution into the description box underneath this video. So I'm going to save my video, click on save, and this is very handy. YouTube is prompting me again to copy those attributions that I need to include underneath my video. So I'm going to click on the copy button again, close that down. My video is being processed, but if I go to the left hand side toolbar and click on details, I can now go ahead and paste that information into the description box underneath. And there it is. And that's all you need to do. OK, so now you've got that set up. There's one small piece of very important copyright information which you really need to know. Let's go back to where I clicked on the Creative Commons license agreement. And you'll notice a line right at the bottom of the pop up box. This is very important to note. If you're going to be sharing your video on other social media channels, which is more than likely, you will almost certainly be required to give attribution to the audio creator on each social media platform. I confirmed this in a chat that I had with the YouTube help team over the weekend. And to me, this did seem like a bit of a grey area. They couldn't really confirm whether you absolutely needed to do this. And I don't know about you, but I really hate grey areas when I need certainty. If you know you're going to be sharing your YouTube video on other social media platforms, then rather use music from the YouTube audio library. Consider taking out a subscription with Epidemic Sound. I have been a subscriber for several years now, and I can honestly say I have absolute peace of mind. There are thousands of music tracks as well as sound effects to choose from. Find music to suit the mood of a project and even find your favourite sound effects. You can use any of the music tracks and sound effects for as little as £9 a month and it really does give you peace of mind when it comes to copyright issues. You don't need to give attribution or worry about sharing your videos on other platforms. Test out Epidemic Sound for free for 30 days using the link which I'll leave in the description box underneath before committing to a fully paid subscription. Let me know in the comments box underneath which solution you will be choosing. Will you be choosing the YouTube audio library music or will you be choosing a subscription with Epidemic Sound? I'd be really interested to find out. And now that we've got music sorted out, why not check out this video, which will help you create the most professional and branded YouTube video intro for your channel. Thank you so much for watching and for your interest as always. I will see you next time.